this is actually just a, a warning here. I, it, this is new from the latest update. Um, but to to enable uh, autopilot, it would just be two clicks on on the stock. But I've never had faith in it. Even though I have it on this vehicle, I've never kicked it into autopilot. I know it's a personal preference. Some people have the faith to take a nap and drive. It's like, but I don't want to be that person that you know hits a person because I was putting faith in some automated thing. So. I think it's a ways away, so we'll see what happens. We've seen all these crashes with autopilot uh, taking place. There was, there was just recently the third time that someone was killed by hitting a semi-truck, and it's always the same crash. They're not paying attention, and the Tesla just doesn't see the semi-truck runs under it. And, and you would think if they were paying attention, they would have avoided it. Uh, you know, that's, that's what you expect. So they weren't paying attention. And, and yeah, you can say the driver should have been paying attention. But after the third fatality, I think telling drivers to pay attention isn't going to stop the fourth fatality, that we need more aggressive driver monitoring, and that's what this recall is about. But the real thing these things need is an eff effective driver monitor, and most people think you really need a dedicated camera for that, and Tesla doesn't have one in most, if any, of its vehicles. So NHTSA did not require them to add a camera. Uh, and, and we've seen these software patches can only do so much. You know, you can't can't create hardware out of thin air with a software patch. So this is going to be a, a, it will be an improvement in safety. How much it improves safety, we don't know, uh, but it's not gonna be the improvement you would hope based on what other manufacturers are already doing for safety.